Well, hello everybody. I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic Wednesday. If you are new here every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on our YouTube channel, we're live answering your core cover related questions. Now, hang in here, still setting everything up so the audio may not be perfect. I do apologize if you are hearing a little bit of echo or anything like that. And I got something, some stuff in the works. And first of all, tomorrow we are having Dish come install a new set of antennas here. So moving in a new home, we're going to have them come back and do that. This time I'll have them set up two TVs. And we're going to do a full review of that, so look for that coming up. But more importantly, got some things in the works for the office. Got to set up the sound and other things. So hang in here. We're still working, but we're going to answer your core related questions for the next hour or so and do our best to help you get the most out of your core cutting experience. So let's dive into this and answer your questions. If you're new, again, hit that subscribe button. Join us every Wednesday if you're watching this on repeat. And hopefully we can help you get the most out of your core cutting experience. All right, real quick, as everybody rolls in, let me share this across social media so everybody knows we're live and we'll go from there. One of the things I'm gonna to try to improve with this new office, I saw another live YouTuber did it. Right now I have a, a, a computer just sitting right below it. But I saw some other YouTubers when I do this, they have a screen set right next to the camera, right below, right, just right at the camera where I can, they display the chat. I need to figure out how they did that because I'd love to be able to just put the chat um, right, you know, right up by the camera. So instead of having to look down to read your comments and answer your questions, I can just look directly at the screen so we'll have to wait and see you know see what I can do to figure out how to do that but let's uh let's quickly finish sharing this but yeah just one more thing we're doing here to try to make this as uh, the best experience as possible and apparently copy and paste just does not want to work I know what's happening here there we go I had broken the link when I copied it. So this should be uh, working now. All right, there we go. Oh, can't hear very well. Yeah, the audio may not be the best quality, uh, but we're working on that. Should be, is it? Is the audio a little bit better this way? Let me know, audio levels are low, so I can do this to change that to make it better. Is that better? Uh, let, leave me a comment, let me know. All right, so share there. Let's share this on Facebook, and we'll get back to your questions. But yeah, leave me a comment, I'd love to know. It, the audio is good now, Steve says. Perfect, anybody else, how's the audio sounding? Yeah, Ben, if your audio is still low, everybody else is saying it's fine. Um, you know, let me know. And I know the audio is not great. We're, we're, that's gonna take some time of installing soundproofing. Angel, what new channel did Fubo TV add? Leave us a comment, I'd love to hear from you. I know they added AT&T Sports Southwest, only the Houston AT&T Sports one. Um, Leave me a comment, uh, let me know if there's another one. Dwayne, hello from Michigan, what part of Michigan? I grew up in Michigan, love to hear from you. So yeah, and let's answer your questions, it's everywhere. So, sorry for the slow start. If you're watching this repeat, hopefully fast forward in a few seconds. So, Tebo Quad, do you know when it's supposed to come out? Uh, Steve, they say sometime in March it's supposed to hit. So we'll have to wait and see when in March, but they say those things have a way of being delayed uh, hopefully it's not delayed too far. Have you heard of anything of TiVo playing in the streaming service? Probably not. TiVo seems to be moving more into the copyright um, deal, using their patents, selling off the, the streaming technology they've developed over the years to try and um, make money that way. So we'll have to wait and see what TiVo does, to be honest with you. But I wouldn't expect them to be launching a streaming service. It just doesn't seem to be what they're getting into. When will MSG come to YouTube TV? I don't know. They haven't said anything about them coming, but if you want MSG, there are many services like Fubo, et cetera, that do offer MSG. Fubo 
Philo, hey, what's live TV streaming services is everybody using? Leave me a comment. I'd love to know which one's your favorite. And if you can, leave me a reason why you like to use it. So yeah, so hey, if you asked a question and I didn't answer it, re-ask it. Because while I was dealing with uh, issues with Facebook and stuff, the comments and everything scrolled by. Angela says, not just AT&T um, Sports Net Southwest added on FUBU. What channel also added on FUBU? I, I don't understand your question, Angela. Um, from my understanding, the only channel added this week to FUBU was AT&T Sports Net Southwest. Um, but that's the only one I've heard of. Leave me a comment let me know. Mule says, Luke, when will we hear about... Uh, when we will hear news about MLB TV's uh, less blackouts, local streaming may be happening. Yes, yeah, so AT&T, or excuse me, uh, MLB was pushing for the ability to stream in-market games. I don't think that happened. So they did this week roll out the pricing for MLB.bat, and it doesn't say anything about in-market streaming. I'll give another week before we throw in the towel on this because it does happen sometimes where, you know, they wait until the last minute to announce it. But AT&T Sports not coming to Fubo TV may signal that they have, um, you know, they have come to some type of arrangement with MLB, but did not include in market streaming. We'll have to wait, wait and see what happens. Um, uh, no, I have not checked out that um, service. Richard says my volume is low. Well, let me do one thing here, see if that will help with it. It's got the right. Let's see here. Did this raise my volume a little bit? Is my volume still low for everybody else? Do this too. See if this improves it. Let me know if the volume is better. Hey Luke, I use Netflix, um, Prime, Hulu, and CBS All Access. Yeah, Chris, I think your setup is pretty common for a lot of people out there. Luke. Amazing Eric says, Luke, sometimes you talk about having staff at Core Cards News. Will other staff members appear on YouTube videos in the future? Could. Looking at some options for that. So we have a couple. Of course, you probably uh, know Jess. Jess writes a couple stories on the site here and there um, as a guest. And she's a freelancer. Uh, we have a, a freelance editor who helps with that. Not all, but she helps with a lot of them. We have a full-time office manager kind of assistant, and she does a lot of the back-end stuff. Like, uh, we just finished the giveaway for the binge box. She'll be the one mailing it out tomorrow. She does all the office work and that kind of stuff to keep the site going. Plus, we have a web guy uh, who's a freelancer who we contract and comes in and does all the website work. So right now, that's the team. I'm looking at expanding it. I need to figure out something first before we do it. Um, you know, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, so that's the Cord Cutters News team. Luke, have you heard or tried Lowcast, a website and app for um, select cities like mine can stream locals, including PBS? Yes, I have. I've actually talked to the people behind it. I've used it. It's not exactly available in my hometown, but when I'm in Dallas or when I'm in Houston, I have used it. Very nice service. I have quite a few stories about over at Cord Cutters News, but if, you have low, if you're interested, I should say, in having Lowcast come to your home city, they're doing something right now where they're asking for donations. Every dollar you donate gets one vote for your home team, for your home team, for your hometown. I'm already thinking about football that started. AAF should be interesting. Um, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, okay, so they are looking to expand, excuse me, but they're looking for donations. So head over to Lowcast. If you don't have Lowcast in your area, donate a dollar. It's a free streaming service. They basically put up an antenna in a town, stream it to people. They say it costs between 150000 to 250000 um, to set up a new city. Costs vary in things like costs of getting the square footage. You know, they have to find an ideal location to put the antenna. They have to come to a leasing agreement and more to make that happen. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully Lowcast can... Uh, make something happen in that range. Steve, is there a website where all local channels are broadcast? It depends on where you live. So most streaming services nowadays, DirecTV Now, Hulu, YouTube TV, and others do offer most locals. Uh, then there's things like Lowcast and Select Markets. So it depends on where you live for that one. 
Would you still buy a 720p Roku TV? If it's a small junk one, yeah. If it's a good deal and I'll, I just want to put a small TV like in the kids' playroom, yeah. 720p for the kids' playroom looks great. 720p cartoons look the same as 1080p cartoons. I know it's something a lot of people don't like to hear, but the reality is, yeah, if you're just watching The Simpsons or Family Guy or Doc McStuffins on Sophia the First, 720p, 1080p, you're really not going to get much of a difference. So if I was buying a TV for a kid's room, 720p, if it was a good deal, I would do. T-Mobile streaming, any update? Nope, no updates. Well, fingers crossed, we'll wait and see what happens. Any plan, any announcements on when the CW will be in all markets? No, DirecTV now did add more CW affiliates. Um, I think Hulu added some recently, don't count me on that. But there are, it's in a few. We'll see. With I think a lot of cable or streaming services don't want to pay a lot for the CW because the CW does offer a free version. You can access CW content the next day through the CW app on many devices for free. So we'll see what happens there. Um, but I would say it seems like a lot of people are not all that interested in paying uh, to put CW on their service. A lot of, so a lot of people are commenting about the uh, Super Bowl. DirecTV now went worked well. YouTube TV, I've seen comments saying it worked well. How did YouTube or uh, your live stream or maybe Nintendo of uh, the uh, Super Bowl work. Last year we had a lot of issues with the Super Bowl. I'll be honest, I had multiple devices running. I had it on my computer, my TV, I had a tablet going and I was flipping through services and I was very impressed with the quality of the streams. Uh, I know that the CBS Sports app crashed in the fourth quarter and came right back up uh, and I think that was the only real major issue. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know. Did you experience any issues with the Super Bowl? I'd love to hear from you. Fox Sports Regional Networks, are they having a new owner? Yes, so they are up for sale. I don't believe we've had any announcements. We probably won't hear who's buying those until the Fox Disney deal closes because Disney's selling, it's having an auction for a product they technically don't own yet, but they will be owning it. Part of the, the deal with the Department of Justice to close on buying Fox was that they had to sell um, it out. So uh, they had to sell, um, Fox Regional Sports. So they're doing an auction, but they probably won't close that auction until after they actually buy Fox, which could happen this week, maybe next week. Really, we're at the point where that deal could close any days. Any day now, excuse me. Reading and talking doesn't always work well, especially after a very long day. Started at like six something this morning. I've been working nonstop since six o'clock this morning. It's been a very long day. Hey, I still am getting people saying that the audio is a little low. I moved the mic up. When I look at it, it seems like the audio is good. Um, let's see here. I know how I can test this out real quick to see if the audio is good. But leave me a comment. Let me know, is the audio bad? I'd love to hear from you. CBS Oxus was great, Chris said. Yeah, that's one of the ones I uh, jumped around on it. I was pleasantly surprised. I did find the CBS All Access stream seemed to be lagging surprisingly far behind. Um, at least farther behind than what I would have expected CBS All Access to be. Seemed like the CBS Sports was... Uh, streaming ahead of, nope. So it sounds good. I forgot to put on the mic. Sorry about the doo doo. The there we go. So this is kind of a weird experience because I'm hearing a echo through my headset. But let's see here. Yeah, it's not the loudest. So I will see if I can bump the audio again. Sorry about that. Some people are saying audio was low, is fine now. The people are saying it's good. Um, have you ever talked into the top? Mike, I don't understand the question. Can you ask again, give me a little bit more details? Will Fubo TV add Discovery? I'm sure they would love to. The problem is, is the price of it worth it for Fubo TV to do that? We'll see. Fubo seems to be very careful about what they're willing to spend money on. So we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. All right, so I just jumped the audio a little bit more. Let me know if that sounds a little bit better to everybody. All right, uh, I think many companies are spending, spending bids for Fox Sports and Nets. Yes, um, there are many companies, but the issue is Fox, Disney, I should say, is selling each individual Fox Sports one separately. So there may be a ton of companies bidding overall, but they may only be bidding on a few of the Fox regional sports networks. Um, and we'll see. Mike, oh, the top of the mic. Yeah, so this is a side condenser mic. 
This is an Audio-Technica side condenser mic, so it's actually designed to talk into it on the side. Um, it's not a front condenser mic, it's a side one. So, yeah, so I am talking into it at the right angle for the way this is designed to be. Mule says, I got rid of my Spectrum cable service because Super Bowl did not broadcast well. I did hear that Spectrum Choice, I do take it back, Spectrum Choice streaming service, I did hear have some issues. So here's a big question for everybody while we wait for some more questions in. Um, that uh, Do you use an antenna? Did you watch the game with an antenna? We asked a lot of people about streaming. How about this? Did you watch the Super Bowl with an antenna? Do Here's a question. I, do I use a... Um, Sling TV, do I like it? Yes, I do use Sling TV. I was actually an early beta tester for Sling TV. I got access to it before the general public did. I was very honored that Sling reached out and gave us an account. So yeah, so Sling TV, um, before most people had access to it, I did. Yeah, the blurriness may come and go. Um, it is just what it is. Yeah, but also, if you click on it and you select, select it to 720p, it should look better. Um, Luke, have you ever used the new Netgear Nighthawk um, AX120? Um, uh, you know, I'm not familiar. Netgear Nighthawk 120. I do have a Netgear Nighthawk. Uh, I can't remember the name. Here. 120. Let's see if the Netgear Nighthawk 120. Um, yes, yeah, so the Netgear Nighthawk 120. I'm not familiar. I'm not finding that one. Can you give me the actual model number? I am a big fan of Netgear Nighthawks. But I don't seem to recognize a 120 model, so let me know. Is it necessary to have an antenna if I have YouTube TV? I get all the locals and free DVR. Uh, you're not getting all the locals of YouTube TV. YouTube TV does not include many of the sub-networks. In most markets, it does not include CW, uh, PBS, uh, MyTV, and more are not available in most YouTube TV markets. So I would say yes. Two reasons to still have an antenna, even if you have a... Um, Sling TV, or uh, excuse me, a YouTube TV, a Hulu, PlayStation View, etc., that include your uh, locals. The number one reason I would say to do it is as a backup. Even if you're 100% happy with everything you have, I would still go out there and get it just because it's nice to have a backup. If your internet goes out, you know it's there. There's other reasons. Hey, antennas aren't delayed like streaming is, but more importantly, there's a lot of content that um, an antenna offers. Most streaming services, again, don't have PBS. They don't have um, things like MyTV. They don't have MeTV, uh, Comment. All these other smaller channels maybe to you, but some people are going to be important. So I would say an antenna is not a bad option at all. A bunch of people saying they watched it, the Super Bowl on an antenna. That's great. So... Let me refresh my stream here. Hey Luke, does that 150 mile antenna really work? I'm about 90 miles from San Antonio, 95 miles from Houston. Under the, Yeah, so the thing to remember when they say 150 mile antenna, that's in theory under best circumstances. For example, they'll bring it out to the desert, a flat desert with nothing between that antenna and the transmitting tower. And they would say under this conditions, under the ability to say, hey, there's nothing between you and the transmitter that, yes, this would uh, be a 150 mile antenna. Now, between you in Houston or you in San Antonio at 95 miles, it's possible you have hills, mountains, skyscrapers, whatever, that may be limiting the uh, distance. My recommendation, though, doesn't hurt to try. You never know. But you can always go to a website like antennaweb.org in your address and see what it says, what kind of reception you may get there to help you decide if it'll be worth it or not. I read earlier today that Fox is having SmackDown on Fridays is a test run. Um, I believe, yeah, so Fox did acquire WWE rights. Um, I don't know if it started yet. It may be they're doing a couple pre-runs, but yeah, so soon a bunch of WWE content is moving over to Fox. But off the top of my head, I don't know the full details, but if you go to Core Cars News, you type in WWE, I do have a story on the site that breaks down exactly what Fox and the WWE are up to. Hey, Luke, what antenna would you be recommending for someone on a budget? Or if you're looking for an indoor antenna, if you go to cordcuttersnews.com, cordcuttersnews.com, make sure you include the news, cordcuttersnews.com. On the homepage right now, I posted today my top 10 
or was it yesterday? I posted yesterday, something like that. My top 10 indoor antennas of 2019. So go there, check that out. There's a ton of them there. WWE um, starts on Fox in October. So yes, yeah, so they may be doing some preliminary um, ones out there. All right. Let's see here. All right. What's going on with DirecTV Now? I hear they're losing a ton of customers. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, so DirecTV Now lost over 200,000 subscribers in the fourth quarter. AT&T says they expect DirecTV Now to continue to lose subscribers in the first quarter of 2019. Why is that happening? Well, they cut out most of the, the promotional offers. They said 500,000 subscribers in early 2018 were only paying $10 a month for their service. They said by the end of 2018, not, no one was paying $10 a month for the service. So everybody who was on that $10 promo was bumped up to the full price. The promo came to an end. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Optimum is internet customers are now paying 250. Is that 250 a month movie fan for network maintenance? That's pretty interesting. All right, Richard. Does my TCL 6 series TV only work with Roku wireless speakers? No, it will work with other. I've done other um, sound bars before and been able to test that out and been very happy with it. So I would say, yes, it will work with other devices. You can use the optical audio and more. <laughs> it is definitely specialized um, to, uh, it's definitely specialized to uh, Roku speakers though, if you wanna get the most. When is the WWE going to Fox? I don't think everything is going to Fox, but they are move, They are partnering with Fox, I guess. People are saying in October 2019. Go to corecardsnews.com, type in WWE in the search box, and you should find a story on that right there. <coughs> Rod, any rumors that TiVo should start a streaming service? Or will it be? Probably not. Um, that, uh, From my understanding, TiVo is out there and more focusing on the patent and licensing their technology to other providers. And of course, selling some stuff, but I don't expect TiVo to get into streaming, to be honest with you. Could happen, but I would be very surprised. Long time TiVo phone, Apple or TiVo? Well, TiVo is a great DVR for over there at TV. The problem is TiVo doesn't have a lot of the, the apps. They have no live TV streaming services at this moment. I asked them about that. They said, well, we're a Linux-based service, and most live TV streaming services don't have a Linux app. So they haven't developed that for them. But they said they would love to have a live TV streaming service on TiVo. So keep that in mind. Well, what's my favorite over there DVR? A couple I would recommend. I'll have one brand, but I would recommend TiVo. Uh, Tableau DVR is very good. Uh, Channel Master. And if you have a home media server or the new quad, uh, and or if you don't use a Roku, the new HD Home 1 quad is not a bad one. So one of those would be great for you. Do your research. They all offer pluses. They all offer minuses. TiVo's great. You're paying a lot for a name, though. It's my only hold up. Um, HD Home Run's great. No Roku support. That may be an issue for you. Uh, Tableau is very nice. Um, some people say it's a little bit more delayed than they like. Channel Master is free. No, it's free with no monthly fees, but it won't allow you to actually go and um, stream it from the Channel Master DVR to another device. So you can't like put one DVR in your home like you can with a TiVo now, Tableau, or an HD home run and stream to all the devices in your house. Since core cutting is a new trend, do you think sports will come back to the local channels instead of being on major networks? No, there's just, um, the reality is the sports that are successful in local channels are on local channels. The sports that are not successful um, or won't be successful are not. Uh, so I, I think we're gonna see things more like the NBA. You know, yes, yeah, sometimes it's good on um, locals, but I think they'll continue to try to develop their NBA league pass and develop it. It might be the same thing and more. But I wouldn't look for it to come back to local channels. There's just too much money and last man standing and um, survivor and all that to bump it for a sports cast. The channel, um, which is better, Hoopla or Canopy? I think they're both great. It really depends on what your public library offers. If they offer both, great, but typically your public library offers one or the other, and you're stuck with whatever your public library offers. Low power digital stations, best way to get signal on those. An antenna, buy the most powerful antenna you can afford, 
If you can, outdoor antenna is always best. I have a Clearstream 2 antenna. What do you think about the Clearstreams? Clearstream antennas from Antenna Direct are excellent antennas. Highly recommend them. All the streaming services, dude. Hey, Big, I already answered your question. Like I said, uh, best way to get digital over there is TV is with the most powerful antenna you can possibly um, afford. And hopefully that helps you get, um, get the antenna you want. Uh, that you can afford. Outdoor antennas are best if you can. Hey, I'm in enabling slow mode. So every 45 seconds, one post per person, just because I'm missing a lot of questions with all the traffic. It's great. We're seeing these uh, Q and A's get more and more popular. So we love to see that. I have a 15 month direct TV now um, account. If I had to end up paying more, I'll be jumping ship. Yeah. Look for, if you're, are you using the $15 a month, 18 T watch TV? I haven't, how are you getting 15 bucks on direct TV now? I'd love to hear how you're paying that. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Are you talking about the 15 month discount? I don't know. Uh, Cruz, let me know. Um, all right. Uh, I currently use air TV and sling TV to record. Can I still record? Yes. So that's a, that's a great one. Um, uh, so real quick first, Robert. Yes. Air TV is another great DVR. Thank you. I actually have it in my office. I'm going to set that up here tomorrow. Part of my review of the antenna install. But can, if, can you still record locals if you cancel your Sling TV subscription? Yes. So the Air TV does have an app on Roku, Android, iOS, etc., which will allow you to use your Air TV for free still after you buy it, even if you no longer have a Sling TV account. When will TCL get the 9.0 update? I believe some T my I have a few TCL TVs already with the 9.0 update, so it's already rolling out. Thanks, movie fan. I see that feed. Um, what do you think about um UTV satellite? It's a satellite TV service. It's traditional cable trying to be cool. Um, so yeah. Douglas, what's your favorite YouTubers? Love to hear from you. All right, Luke, will there be any good aftermarket speakers coming out for TVs besides sound bars? Um, TLC or TCL, the makers of the Roku TVs, are coming out with their own sound bar, uh, which I reviewed last year and it's finally coming out on the market this year. I would say it looks very good. So there's one to keep an eye on, but there are very good aftermarket sound bars. Of course, you get the really expensive Sonos. I think Bose even makes one. I don't know. That's kind of way out of my price range. But yeah, keep an eye on it. Is it true if an IPTV service is available on the Google Play Store, is it legal? Not always. Sometimes Google allows things in. It sits there for a couple days, a couple weeks. I think say a month or two, and then they get pulled. Any credible rumors of a less expensive Apple TV dongle coming? Uh, they're getting their uh, lunch in due to high cost. I do agree. Apple would uh, greatly benefit from a cheaper Apple TV dongle. Um, this week, it was reported that they're in talks with Roku, and that Roku may be adding AirPlay 2 support. That would be pretty interesting. A $40 Roku getting air, again, 4K Air TV support. But um, there is a lot of other interesting parts to it. And I have heard the rumors that they are working on dongle. It makes me wonder, though, now that they're running, um, you know, they're running out there and offering their Air TV, even iTunes, and non Apple devices. Maybe they change their mind. Maybe they're just saying, hey, we're not winning the uh, streaming market. So now we're going to go and offer it to. Uh, other manufacturers. So I wouldn't necessarily, um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily be surprised if they released this cheaper dongle. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. NYC says the only news I've heard about Disney's new streaming service called Disney Plus was that Captain Marvel will be exclusive to that streaming service once it hit the theatrical run ends. Yeah, so Disney movies starting with Captain Marvel and going forward will go to Disney Plus streaming service instead of Netflix. Disney Plus will rumored to be five to 10 bucks a month, focus on family friendly content and bring content from Fox and um, some Fox, not most Fox stuff they've said, and Disney and all kinds of other stuff, plus original uh, shows like some Star Wars original programming, a new high school musical. I think I even heard a Monsters Inc. spinoff show is coming to it. All kinds of content coming to uh, Disney Plus. Think of it as a um, on-demand version, uh, 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 family-friendly version of Netflix. 
They've said that they're, once they get a majority control of Hulu, which will happen probably this month, we'll wait and see, uh, Hulu will be the uh, focus on more adult content. And I don't mean like a red light district content. I meant more like PG, PG-13, R-rated kind of content. So we'll, we'll um, wait and see what happens. For now, though, we kind of have to wait and see what Disney does with it. We've heard a lot of this, a lot of that about it, but we'll we'll wait and see. Um, all right. Hey, Tony, thank you. Yes, we hit 50,000 subscribers over the weekend. I think we're already over uh, 50,600. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Next stop, 100,000. I'd like to hit 100,000 by the end of the year. That's a little aggressive. I don't know if we can do that, but hey, we have a goal. Let's see if we can hit 50,000 by the end of the year. I would really appreciate it. Let your friends know. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so what would the OS 9 features offer in our uh, Roku TV? So Roku TV OS 9 adds a bunch of things, adds additional support for a bunch of backend fixes and others. Uh, there was a bunch of things not announced that kind of walked into. Like today we announced, we were, we were the first one to break the news, that Roku now has a guest mode. You can launch a guest mode called a, um, I think it's something, sign in. And it allows you to have guests come over. It allows them to enter their Netflix password, Hulu password, whatever services they want. And then when they, when the Roku exits it, it logs them out. When you exit guest mode, it reloads your previous installs, which is kind of a cool idea. So yeah, if you have a friend over and they want to be able to use Netflix, but you're a Netflix person, they want to use theirs, you can let them know. And then when they log out, you just exit guest mode and your stuff is all right back there. Pretty cool. Um, feature there what's the pink fire tv in the corner this is actually not a fire tv it's a box that um that amazon gave me when i met with them at cs i went to one of their events they gave away these what they call late night binge boxes we gave this away to a reader the reader responded and tomorrow morning uh back our office manager will be taking that um and mailing it out to her it's got a fire tv sick 4k in it it's got a pair of fire tv socks and Fire TV branded Pringles. So, uh, pretty cool. Hey, um, Lenny, thanks for becoming a member of Core Cars News as, as YouTube channel. Really appreciate that. So, hopefully that, that five bucks will help us out greatly. Um, let's see here. I have, um, have you heard any more about the Discovery streaming service? Discovery CEO has still said they intend to launch it. They have, they've kind of just hauled and hemmed on when that would be coming. So we'll have to wait and see uh, you know, when it will happen. They kind of said when the moment's right, they'll be launching a five, six dollar starting package of discovery and scripture related content. I would expect it this year, but don't hold your breath. I'm not gonna promise that. Can you, um, can you show guest mode on Roku in a re video review? Yeah, I'll try to work on that this week and do a First look at a, a guest mode for Roku. All right. So what do you know um, about channel repacking over their television? So yeah, so um, now this is a touchy political subject because it's FCC and I get that. But the previous administration um, had wanted to expand 5G and to expand 5G so that we can get faster internet wirelessly for home and cell phones and everything. They went and uh, held an auction and they said, hey, TV stations, if you're willing to leave some of the higher end bands that TV stations are in and come down to a lower channel number, we will um, allow you to sell that and give you a free channel number down. That way, like T-Mobile was a big buyer, Dish was a big buyer of this and all kinds of others went out there and bought up these higher um, channels. So now they did that. Now it's come down to D-Day. So now it's time for these people who sold their channels to do what's called repacking, which is to go in there and it, you actually physically have to change out equipment. It's not like you go into your transmit tower, you, you say, now transmit at this frequency. You actually have to go in there and exchange some equipment because the equipment's actually hardwired to transmit in a certain spectrum. You can't just go it's not like a radio dial. You twist the dial to a new frequency. So they're going in there and they're trans transitioning it. So um, it's kind of a weird situation because with digital over there TV, um, it may you may have like for instance channel eight NBC in your area. For instance, just to use random number may in reality actually be 
um, channel 56 or something. But because it's a digital one, your TV pulls it on channel 56. But because it's traditionally channel eight, they adjust the channel number. So you may not have notice a different channel number, but you, you will have to rescan because your antenna will need to go and discover that channel 56 is now on channel 24, for example. So that's an overly simple, and I get it, there's gonna be some technical people saying, well, actually, it doesn't really work that way. And I get that. But the the layman's, the uh, if I was teaching this to a bunch of middle schoolers or high schoolers, this is how I would explain it, um, system. So yeah, so basically they're changing the back end number the frequency it broadcasts over, you rescan and you'll, once that happens, you won't know anything. Now the FCC did come out and they did go and launch a telephone number. So if you're having trouble rescanning, you can call this telephone number and they will help you uh, figure out how to do it. If you go to Core Cars News, it's on the second or third page probably by now. There's a post there where you can go and type, you know, call that FCC number, say, hey, I own a LG or a Samsung TV. Can you help, you know, my local station went off the air because they repacked and can you help me? Now, if you have a channel that's repacking and switching over their stations in your market, they are out there, uh, will be for months before it happens saying, hey, on July 18th, 2019, we are changing our frequency and um, on that day, you will need a rescan for over their channels. So keep that in mind. So you should have plenty of notice. Uh, John says he cut the cord last week. I'm using DirecTV now because it offers me the more channels I watch. But I prefer Sling TV. Just wish it had more channels. Yeah, it's always one of those battles. Um, you know, there's is a little bit of trade off at time. My thing to you, John, and I hear this from a lot of people is like, hey, I want this channel because there's one show on it. You know, I really want XYZ channel. I watch this one program on it, and I really want to see it. So I'm paying an extra twenty bucks a month to do that. Well, you may want to think about if the, if you're in a situation where um, you have a over there or you have a show you want to watch, but it's on a channel that's in a higher package and you'd have to um, cost more or pay more, I would go and maybe look at subscribing to a season pass on Amazon. Hey, maybe you watch it the next day, but that'll probably be a lot cheaper than upgrading your DirecTV Now, Sling TV, Hulu, whatever package to an add-on or a higher level. So just keep that in mind. What do I think about the Orbi TV Sally for no contract? I'm not familiar with that, so I can't really comment, Travis. Anyway, Caesar says PlayStation View should rebrand to Sony View. To add um, a good reason is that there, there's PAS now, which is focused on cloud gaming. Let's um, Sony View be this um, a streaming service. Can't uh, can't confuse folks. Well, people will still get confused probably, but I agree. PlayStation View would be a much larger streaming service, um, maybe one of the, the largest. I don't know if they didn't have the PlayStation View name. To this day, I still get a ton of comments about, um, uh, hey, when is uh, this, or, you know, I, don't, I love PlayStation View. I don't own um, a PlayStation. When is it coming to other devices? And I'll be like, uh, it is. PlayStation View doesn't need a PlayStation. Happens all the time. So I hope they change their name. I think it will really help them. Aaron says, Luke, when will Paramount, Lionsgate, and MGM come to Movies Anywhere? I prefer Movies Anywhere um, than Disney Plus because it offers the convenience of watching movies across Voodoo, Amazon, etc. So uh, Paramount was recently sold to Viacom. So Viacom now owns Paramount. Um, so they'll have to renegotiate. Viacom has hinted they're launching their own on-demand service. I don't know it, what Viacom will do. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, and um, yeah, so keep it all an eye on that. When were the others? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Luke, do you have a site you can go to for OTA Repack? Uh, AntennaWeb.org, AntennaWeb, W-E-D, AntennaWeb, or A-B, excuse me, my brain is fried, I've been up since six, working since six, I should say. Um, they have a repack area. You kind of have to hunt for it on their site, but yeah, it will give you an idea of what channels be repacked in your area. I'm thinking about using the Clearstream TV um, amp with my Roku. What's your thoughts? Not a bad device. Are you talking about the one, the antenna? Or are you talking about the one that takes your antenna and streams it to your Roku? Both are great. Made by Antenna Direct. Did Paramount buy Skype? No, actually the other way around. Skype was owned by um, Viacom. Viacom owned Spike. Viacom went and bought Paramount. And then Viacom rebranded Spike into the Paramount network. 
So yeah, other so it's actually fine. Basically, Spike bought Paramount and then used the name. Anyway, so this is um, Uma is way better than Vonage. Uh, Vonage made my landmine call sound bad. Uma is at, um, is at least a decent service. I don't know about Vonage. I haven't actually used Vonage, but we do use Uma in the office. So we have Uma's business service for our office, half the price of using Spectrum. Always get these letters. Hey, Spectrum, why don't you get a business phone? And I'm like, man, that's what I have pay for like three lines is what Spectrum pays for, um, will charge me for one line. Crazy. Yeah, so the um, ClearStream is a great um, device to stream your antenna to your Roku. The only downside to it is it does not include a DVR. You can always look at things like a uh, Air TV or a Tableau to do the same thing, but add a DVR fee for just a little bit more money. What do you think of DirecTV Now? What do you think of DirecTV Now? Is garbage? Do I? Um, do, 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 do. So is DirecTV Now garbage? I don't know if it's garbage. Uh, I know a lot of people have been unhappy when switched with it because they lost 200 some thousand subscribers in the fourth quarter and at t saying they believe more will be lost soon. Um, but there's definitely issues with DirecTV Now. So we'll wait and see what happens. When OTA 3.0 arrives, will the amount of substations increase um, greatly? So yes, 3.0 um, does allow you the ability to um, have more substations. So instead of having three or four, in theory, you could have 100. Um, now, if you want them in HD or 4K, each one lo lowers the total. So like channel eight could have 100 subchannels in theory. So um, yeah, we would probably see more subchannels roll out. Hey, Elm. Uh, we focus on more of the legal content here. I know there's tons of YouTube channels if you want to find about that kind of stuff. How do you know if something is legal or not in, in core cutting? If if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Is the live wave antenna legit? I'm not familiar with the live wave antenna. I haven't heard of it. It doesn't mean it's not legit. I just, I've never heard of it. Have you used the MyBox S? Yes, I have. Actually, the MyBox S is the same box. They just have a new remote for it. So yeah, so if you have the old MyBox, you have the same one with a not quite as nice box or remote. What do I think about DirecTV Now? If it has the channels you want, it's great. Um, I think DirecTV Now could serve themselves better by offering better customer service, getting that DVR add-on they've been talking about for a year um, out, but I think DirecTV Now is not a bad option at all. All right, keep those questions coming. And I'll do my best to answer as many of them as I can. We got about 15 more minutes, so we're gonna start wrapping this up. So if I have an answer, if you ask a question and I didn't answer it, please re-ask it. It's always, I always hate it when um, I get an email after this and somebody says, hey, I asked a question and you ignored it. What probably happened was I was answering another question and while I answered your question, it just kind of scrolled up and vanished. Um, so I did, um, I'll try turning off the slow chat right now uh, because uh, it slowed down a little bit, but um, so yeah, so if you have a question and you want to ask it, post it, I'll do my best to answer them. Matt says him and his roommate just cu cut the cord and they love DirecTV now. That's great. Is the MyBox S worth the money? Um, it's not a bad Android TV device. If you can, the video show it's a much better device to be honest with you. Which is better, Sling or YouTube TV? I think Sling and YouTube TV are both great. It really depends on which one has the channels you want. Does it have the channels you want? Uh, you know, if it does, great. If it doesn't, then um, not good news. So yeah. I get locals on YouTube TV. Well, I need to get a new device when 3.0 rolls out. Uh, now YouTube TV still offer locals. Now you will maybe need a new tuner. The news is though, even um, when they they move over to 3.0, they must continue to broadcast in the current standard, the 1.0 standard for five years. So we're probably looking at next year before stations start going live in 3.0, which means you're gonna have from now six more years. So it's possible in the next six years, you're gonna upgrade your TV. Um, and yeah, so I wouldn't really worry about that right now. Luke, do you like the Roku speakers for Roku TVs? Yes, I have one in the living room. Right here, I really do like it. So yes, I do have the Roku speakers and I do like them. YouTube TV is good for regular content. Sling is good for international content. Yes, Sling TV is an excellent international one. 
But really when it comes down to Hulu versus Sling versus YouTube versus Philo, which service has the channels you want? If it has the channels you want, hey, you're good to go. What features do you get with the MyBox S? It's an Android TV device like all others. It's just a lower end version. What's the best Android TV device? I think you can easily say that's the NVIDIA Shield. So yes, Fubo TV is adding AT&T Sportsnet Southwest. It is kind of strange it's coming to Fubo first, or at least was announced on Fubo first. It doesn't come out until next week. Uh, so maybe DirecTV now will slip it in tomorrow morning. But um, it's only the AT&T Sportsnet Southwest. None of the other AT&T Sportsnets, and it's only on Fubo. Hopefully more coming soon. Um, I recently bought a smart TV and my antenna doesn't work with it, uh, but it worked fine with my old TV. Do they not work on smart TVs? They do work on smart TVs. You do need to run a channel scan. Just plugging your antenna in the back won't work. So you need to go in the settings, go into the broadcast TV, run a channel set, um, scan. The only downside is like um, uh, Vizio and some of their TVs that were sold for a while, they did not include an over there tuner. So it's possible maybe if you have a Vizio, that TV does include a tuner. They call them displays, not TVs. Can watch three um, streams simultaneous with Sling TV. I, I can't remember. I believe on the blue package you get three. I, can't, I want to say two or three. The orange package only allows one stream, but the blue package allows up to, I believe, three streams at once. YouTube TV claims they have real-time stats for most games, but I never get it to work. Is that just me or um, it's a known issue? I have, it depends on what device. I know on my phone I see it, but I can't ever say I, I looked for it on my Roku or Fire TV, for example, or uh, Apple TV. It's not on the Fire TV, excuse me. Any news on, um, any info on if DirecTV now will get the new N -E -N -E -S -N. Um I believe, I thought they have it, maybe not, but it's only a regional one. I know some cable networks have a national feed of that network. I don't believe any core cutting ones offer a national feed. Will Sling TV Dish ever work out a deal with uh, Philly uh, Comcast Sports? Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll wait and see what happens. Would you recommend the big boy indoor antenna? Never heard of it, doesn't mean it's bad, just never heard of it. There's so many antenna companies launching right now to try and take advantage of the the growing core cutting trend. It's kind of hard to keep track of all of them. Hey, I see a ton of new people here. We do our best to help you get the most out of your core cutting experience, break free from the high cost of cable, get most out of your Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, and more. Um, so hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It helps us. We do these Q and A's, core cutting weekly recap shows, how to's, reviews, and more. So yeah, hey, join us, hit that thumbs up, subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Thank you everybody who helped push us over 50,000 this week. I cannot believe we hit 50,000 subscribers. We're coming up on 50,700 subscribers just a few days later. So yeah, if you're new here, hit that subscribe. Hopefully we can help you get the most out of it. Will Pluto TV continue to be free? Yes, Pluto TV has come out and said in Viacom that they will intend to be free. They do, though, intend to offer add-ons, basically an Amazon Channels version. Sorry about that bad typo in that post. We did fix that. Sorry. Uh, but Amazon or Philo, uh, Viacom's president, it's been a long, long day. I'm, very, I'm going to bed after this. Viacom's president did come out and say they intend to keep Philo free. He actually said they're very excited. They have a quote, a lot of um, free content out there that are ads to put against the free content. So we'll keep an eye on it. Hey, Jess, great to see if you're looking for one of our other writers. Jess in the group answered the question. Yes, Sling Orange is one stream. Sling Blue is three streams. In theory, you can have four max. If you use a Sling Orange channel and three Sling Blue channels, you can have up to four channels max with Sling if you have both the Sling Orange and Sling Blue. Lenny, thanks again for being a supporter of the channel. Really appreciate it. Uh, do, do, do. do you know Down Under Network? No, I don't. Douglas, let me know about it. Are you um, selling the TCL 5 Series for me with the grid guide? I, I'm not sure I understand that question, Robert. The 5 Series is still available. I believe you can buy it in Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon.com. It's a very good TV. I was very pleased with it. It does have the grid guide for antenna. If you connect an antenna, do your scan. When you start watching antenna, press the left arrow key on there and it will come up with a traditional grid guide for free for your antenna. 
hey, well, everybody is still here. Hey, don't forget, we have an app now. Uh, if you want to download our app, it has all of our news stories in it. It's 100% free. It does offer a subscription service if you would like to go and not have to pay for or not to see ads. We do offer an ad-free subscription for service. Link in the show notes down below. How come rabbit... Um, how come rabbit ears work better than flat antennas? It depends. Um, some flat antennas, I think, work great. Um, rabbit ears also work great. Sometimes they have v- VHF, UHF in there. Sometimes it, if you have a channel that needs that, it's a great option too. I think one of the things that people kind of forget back when we, everybody was like, oh, over there antennas were great. Kind of, I think two things. A, your memory's a little foggy. Two, um, we typically live closer to major city centers. Now in the last 20 years, Americans have really, you know, suburbs have grown. Americans have really moved into rural areas. Well, that means uh, you have moved farther away from the the center. We've moved farther away from the transmitters, which means you're struggling to get more reception. So I think it's a kind of a combination of your memory being a little foggier and probably living farther away from the transmitter than you did as a kid. Luke, what do you get if you join this Core Cars News YouTube channel? Yes, if you join our channel, become a channel sponsor, A, you get the warm and fuzzy feelings of knowing that you're supporting Core Cars News and helping us make this a reality. It costs money. Paying the employees costs money. We do, You do get a special icon, a little Core Cars News icon next to your name to let everybody know that you're a supporter of Core Cars News. And we do a monthly private donator-only Q&A. So you get a Q&A like this with me just for donors, not a ton of um, people show up to those, so you get a lot more of a one-on-one conversation rather than I'm trying to answer as many questions as possible. So yeah, but more importantly, you're doing it just to support Core Cars News, and you don't have to. It's something YouTube just automatically offers now, um, and so we thought, you know, hey, if somebody wants to donate five bucks a month, we, well, hey, we won't say no. Do uh, Sling Streams have to be um, in the same household? No, Sling TV will allow you to be traveling and watch it out of your home as you watch it in your home, as long as you're on the blue plan, which allows multiple streams at the same time. Um, thanks, Marianne. Uh, yes, the new office is coming across nicely. I have a lot more to do, the soundproofing. I don't even have a desk yet. They say, so my old desk did not fit. This office is actually a lot smaller. Uh, but once I get the new desk in here, once that's in place, then I can start installing the sound and the carpet and other things. But I need to get the desk here first. And they say it's going to be at least a week, maybe two weeks until delivery. Do you recommend the TV tuner for the Xbox One? It doesn't hurt. Uh, I don't think Xbox One is really putting a lot of effort into it. They kind of killed, they killed the plans for the DVR, so it's not really recommended anymore because there's not going to be a DVR, unfortunately. I would say go if you really want it, Get like a Tableau DVR. Um, I believe they have an Xbox app. Maybe I'm confusing. Check their website before you buy. But then you would get um, DVR features and streaming your locals through your Xbox. But again, check their website. I may be wrong. Any any Tableau, anybody here can go check Tableau's website. Do they support the Xbox? I, I can't remember. Any idea when PlayStation View will refresh their menu? operating system. I'm using it on a Roku Ultra. So they did actually about a month or two ago roll up an update to the Roku um, PlayStation View app and they went um, and they went and install or uh, added some new features, tweak some things, fix some bugs. So fingers crossed. Chris says we sound very good. No echo today. I did put a big rug down but hang in here. Once I get the desk in, once the desk is here, I had a special order because it didn't fit. Um, and once you do that, I can start installing the th- other things I want to do in here. HD Home Run has an Xbox app. Okay, so HD Home Run is an option there. Will they shut down the ATC at 1.0 when um, 3.0 comes out? No. For five years after a station switches to 3.0, they have to continue to support the 1.0 standard. What's my favorite food? Well, I can't go wrong with a steak. I do like a nice steak that I grill myself. What's the best 4K streaming device? I think they're all kind of the same now. Roku Ultra, Apple TV, um, Fire TV, 4K stick. I think they're all honestly about the best. Um, Yeah, it comes down to which one has the streaming services you want to use. All right, hey, I got about three minutes. So if you have a question, 
leave it here. Hey, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget we have an app down here. Um, so in the show notes, we have a link to our app. It gives you access to all of our news stories all in one easy to use place. So keep that in mind. All right, hey, well, I get the last few questions. If you have a question, leave it here. I'm gonna play a quick 30 second ad because it helps pay the bills. I really appreciate it. Some people will see it, some won't. Hang in there, we'll be right back. For everybody who's here, again, hey, a special, special thank you for everybody's support. We really appreciate your coming out here and helping make Core Cars News what we are. I never dreamed when we started really making YouTube a focus a little over a year ago now, um, never dreamed we would hit 50,000. Uh, here we are. And now let's move on to 100,000. So I would, I really appreciate your support. Let's see if we can hit 100,000 this year. Fingers crossed. I think we can do that. We're going to work hard to make that a reality. All right, jumping back into the questions. Maddie says, what's the best pay-per-view service? So Sling TV offers it now, even if you're not a Sling TV subscriber. Um, Amazon offers pay-per-view. If you're like looking for a UFC match, uh, the UFC app offers pay-per-view. There's a growing number of services that offer pay-per-view. Uh, I think they're all about the same. Just use whatever one works for you. Sling, I've used Sling, I've used Amazon. They all work great. Any news in the new T-Mobile TV service? They still say it's coming out this year. Fingers crossed, hopefully soon. Um, uh, Robert says, what I mean is when I said oh, um, you're selling the CCL5 series was you are making it more worth buying. Okay, I'm glad that my reviews help you make a decision that's something you want to buy. Spectrum Choice with Cable Card, why? It has um, come to nearly $39 um, TV receiver cable card rental. Yeah, so the only real benefit of the Spectrum TV choice is you get to pick the channels you want. I don't necessarily think it's a great deal right now, but hey, it's the first a la carte-esque system, and we'll be moving in that direction. Robert says PlayStation um, 4 is now offering uh, pay-per-views as well from the PlayStation Store, so there's one more option. If you have a PlayStation, I think 3 also will probably do that. You can get pay-per-view events. Do you think HD and Home Run Prime will ever catch on? I think they need to resolve their issues with... Um, with Hallmark and Discovery, last I checked, they still hadn't returned to HD Home Run. That's really holding back the service. The other problem is HD Home Run needs an HD Home Run device to work. You can't use HD Home Run, to my knowledge, like on a Roku, Fire TV, etc. I think that will hold it back too. I think most people, uh, when I do our when I do our surveys, I, I ask a majority of our readers say yes, they use an antenna, but most but most of our readers don't own a DVR. So, and very, very few people own an HD Home Run. It's like just a few percentage of our readers say that you use an HD Home Run. So, as long as it's permanently tied to the HD Home Run, it will only work on HD Home Runs. I do think the HD Home Run Prime TV service will just not get the um, the growth it, it deserves. What telecommunication service, what cable networks we'll just call it, are coming out with streaming services. Pretty much all of them now are moving in that direction. Spectrum has it, Comcast has it. I think all of them either have it or they're moving in that direction. Often though, they make you have their internet service to access their streaming service. Do you think Amazon Fire TV Recast will have apps on other platforms to access your TV? You know, when I met with Amazon at CS, I had a, they asked me, hey, what do you think of the Recast? And this is, this is what I told them. Maybe I was crazy to say this to Amazon, but I did. It's a great DVR, it really is, it works well. It's kind of large, it's the only physical hard uh, drawback to it, but it works really well. The problem is when, I, when we survey you, the readers, you tell me that a vast majority of you own multiple devices. So for instance, your living room may be a smart TV and then in the bedroom is a Fire TV, or you may have a Roku in the bedroom by Fire TV in the living room, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, game systems and other things. So until the um, Fire TV recast adds support for more devices, they're just never going to be as popular of a device as it can because most Fire TV owners don't have a 100% sell into the Fire TV. And people um, want to watch, if they're buying something like a Tableau recast or a recast Fire TV DVR or Tableau, they want to be able to access it on multiple devices, all the ones they own. And I think that holds them back. So until they add support for Roku, for Nvidia Shield, for Apple, or and more, they're just not going to be as successful with it as they could be. Just point blank. That's why I told Amazon. That's what I'll tell you here. 
Can TiVo record Netflix? No, it just records over there TV or cable if you have a cable card. All right. Um, do we know of an Ethernet adapter for um, the Roku Stick Plus? No. If you want an Ethernet adapter on your Roku, get a Roku Ultra. All right, everybody. We're going to cut it off right there. We went a little over an hour today. I really want to say thank you. If you're new here again, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. It really does help us. And if you like our videos, hit the thumbs up. Hey, a little pro tip, if not even on our channel, but if you ever have a YouTuber you like and you're like, hey, this YouTuber, I like his videos. I'm not going to donate to him because I don't like it that much. But just randomly hit the thumbs up on their videos. I pretty much try to thumbs up pretty much all YouTube videos I like because it really does help the YouTube creator um, for them to go out there and get their videos seen by other people. So as always, hey, if you like the content, hit that thumbs up not just for me, but for other channels. It really does help us. So, hey, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, don't forget, we'll be back on Saturday for our core kind of Q&A recap and check it out. So we'll do our best to help you learn more about streaming, break free from the high cable TV costs, and still watch the content you want. So take care. If you're if you're new here, you still have questions, you can always head over to our, YouTube, our Facebook group. We're almost at 49,000. I think we hit 49,000 today. So this Facebook, uh, I put a link to it in the show notes, uh, facebook.com slash cord cutting tech support. That's facebook.com slash groups slash cord cutting tech support, or just search for cord cutting tech support. We are the group with over 49,000 members in it now. Um, and there's 49,000 people who are going to do nothing but answer your core cutting related questions. So until next week, take care. And again, just unbelievably grateful. I know words don't say enough. Hopefully some more giveaways we'll be doing later this month and in the future. A little token of our thanks. We just appreciate all of our viewers. You are all amazing. Take care, everybody. We will see you next week.